So talk to us about the problems that you're trying to solve with your company. So um, Metrica is trying to make blockchain networks reliable and performant so that the Web3 world can be built on top. So think of it, um, we've got used to the resiliency and the performance of telecommunication networks. We are applying and we're building the same tools in the blockchain world. And that is very important because if we want to build applications for Web3, applications that are required, have higher operational requirements, think of it like the next Zoom, the next Facebook, the next Netflix on top of Web3. We need the blockchain networks to be performing really well. So we, we're building the tools, end-to-end -to -end monitoring, uh, analytics, operational intelligence, uh, so that anyone who runs infrastructure can run it reliably, and also the applications can get that visibility and can know how the network performs, the blockchain network perform underneath. Are network outages and attacks on the blockchain more serious than they would be on other networks? I think they are. I think the, uh, the assets that exist on the blockchain networks are much more valuable than video or voice that exists on conventional telecom networks or the internet. And I think um, it, we're putting our banking system, we're putting new assets, we're putting digital assets on those networks. So I think both security and performance are much more important than what it were in the, in the telecom world. And um, uh, I think we're going to see the highest value bits traversing the world uh, than we saw before in the Web2 world, in the Internet. So talk to us then about how this scales in the future. If, you know, these kinds of outages and attacks are more serious for blockchain technology. Yeah, um, I mean, just to give you an example of what happens today, when there is a, when there is an outage, um, everyone runs a node on the blockchain network, and they run some kind of local monitoring on those nodes. And what happens is that everybody sees that their node is down, and they try to figure out, is it the node? Is it the network? Is it the application that is wrong? Nobody knows what is going on exactly. So everybody goes on social media, they go on Twitter, they go on Discord, and they start asking each other, are you seeing the same thing? Are you experiencing the same things that we see? And then there is a long process of coordination for bringing a network back in order. So these are operations in the early days that we're experiencing now. We need infrastructure like the one that uh, Metrica is building so that we can have monitoring, community monitoring, end-to-end -end visibility into the network. And so that those outages can either be prevented or when they happen, we can very quickly recover and the network can be, uh, can be back. So I think we are seeing things that as we build up infrastructure and as we build more tools in the space, will start becoming less and less frequent. We've been talking a lot about the market turmoil and crypto market turmoil. Bitcoin still now below $30,000. What's your read on where this is all headed? I think definitely the markets um, are in uh, turmoil and we're, we're, in a, uh, we're getting into a bear market. But I think for, for crypto, this actually might be a, a good thing in the sense that people will focus a lot on building. And every time that we've seen in the past uh, during bear markets, there is a lot of infrastructure being built. The foundations of blockchain and crypto are being built and uh, move even uh, further along. I would say investors also kind of change their appetite and they become much more focused on the value of what is being built rather than on financial engineering or on crypto economics. And I think that's, that's a healthy uh, kind of phase that, that we go through. And we've seen that in the past. It has never stopped the progress in building up more, more things in the crypto world. 